Fenestration is better than I expected, and I expected it to be awesome. It is a map that I've wanted to make for years. I didn't know exactly what it would be like, but I knew it needed to be that name. So that was a start at least. I worked on it a few years ago and had a full map layout and everything, but probably because I called the file name something stupid, I couldn't find it again. So the other day I hastily threw together a central arena with as few external bits as possible and hoped for the best. It's been one thing to test it with bots, but watching real people on it has been a lot more enjoyable. Thank you to everybody who has been playing on it these last few days. I've had a lot of fun playing with you and watching as you plummet your deaths over and over again. And I now feel I know this map well enough to talk about it and the unique gameplay opportunities this new game mode enables. The rounds are too fast and fun to be a proper game mode like Hostage or Diffuse, but I think it would make for a great casual game mode to be put alongside the likes of Flying Scoutsman or Arms Race. Why not replace those completely? I'm amazed by the variety of outcomes this simple arena layout can generate. For those of you who haven't played it, the map is all about the rushing. If you don't rush, as a terrorist you soon find yourself out of safe options, and as a CT, you'll quickly get shot by a rushing terrorist. I was a bit worried that players would get fed up of AFK terrorists stood at their spawn, but since the CTs quickly either get defeated or they rescue a hostage, it hasn't been a problem. And I'm happy to say that I am yet to see anybody bother to head back to terrorist spawn later in the round. That bit of the map serves its intended purpose and nothing else. Mission accomplished. I kept the corridors to a minimum and they all connect up with the central courtyard which was where I wanted the action to take place, and it has done. I have loved watching the frantic battles the teams have had across it and the many silly ways they usually end, normally with people plummeting to their deaths. But the fun doesn't stop when you reach the courtyard. As a terrorist, a fearless rush to the hostage room or a courageous charge to the ladder will both take CTs by surprise and the outcome of that encounter will dictate the entire round. This ladder in particular is an important spot to hold, so climbing it as a terrorist grants you a great spot to take out sniping CTs from, and dropping down it as a CT will let you flank the terrorists. It's overpowered, but for which team it's overpowered for depends who's using it. I'm all for map balance, but it's the inequalities with this one that, at least for now, make it more exciting to watch. Players are encouraged to do silly, dangerous stunts, and none is sillier than a CT plummeting to their deaths to rescue a hostage to win their team the round. Let's go through the map versions. The first version is actually still quite recognisable as being defenestration, only it isn't textured and there's a clear sightline from T-spawn straight through to where the CTs will be attacking from, which is a bad, bad idea and was soon blocked off. There is no earlier version of the map than this, this is the one I got working and then iterated on until the bots could at least make a decent attempt at navigating it. I tricked them by actually making this two different maps. One is rendered for bots, with ramps everywhere, which are then removed and swapped out for the one for proper players, and the bots continue to behave as though it's the old layout. It's a bit mean of me because where there used to be ramps are now large drops which they'll mindlessly jump off, and they think that this bit here is a nice relaxing ramp to the top, but it's actually a boost. Maybe that's why they behave so confused once they reach the top. The second version of this map was all about the graphical facelift. I based the visual design on my PB Crystal map, which was made for a paintball game mode, Looking back, it's obvious why I thought this was suitable, since that one also had windows everywhere. I borrowed from this the gradient textures and the dark design, and I've got to say, I wasn't too fond of it in this second version. It seemed a bit dark and monochrome compared with most of my maps. If I made it any brighter though, then the HDR did weird things depending on whether you were staring at the black or at the level, so I kind of had to keep things a bit drab. But saying that, the style has grown on me with later versions. I love a grand sense of scale, so I have a large drop at T-spawn, and in the skybox are impossibly tall structures fading into the darkness beyond. In the opposite corner, there's an infinite desert stretching off into the distance. This is the version I showcased in my April Fools video, and that many of you have played on. It was CT sided. But was it really CT sided? Yes it was, but it's hard to tell with a new map because it might just be that the players haven't figured it out just yet. I feel like the terrorists got their act together and managed to win a few rounds as the playtesting matured. Maybe people naturally don't want to rush into the enemy spawn, or to leg it through an open area to reach somewhere better. But I'm proud of how, within just a matter of hours, you guys were playing like suicidal lemmings. The next update made two major changes. With this one, all windows would now smash automatically as you ran into them. The map is called Defenestration after all. You can still shoot to break them, but it does mean that you can instead focus on the fighting without having to clear your way, which even I found annoying to do. 
The other thing I did was to balance the level. People were saying that it was too easy for CTs to plummet off the top of the hostage to win the round, and some were sneakily running back the way they came to achieve the same. I nerfed both of these tactics by widening the courtyard. If CTs want to jump from the top, they must first reach the end of this gangplank. It's a risky strategy, as surely every terrorist in the map will be watching for this. It brilliantly enables this smoke, and it's exhilarating to rush through it as bullets whiz past you in all directions. I also love how many times the CTs have misjudged the drop and have jumped too early. This gangplank adds something to the map that I never knew it needed. Also you can see I began decorating the cover in the same styles as the rest of the map, keeping the black to highlight the edges. This version of the map seemed a lot more balanced, and I think it's safe to say that people enjoyed this one. And then I added another thing that I didn't know the map needed. A pit of despair, right below the gangplank. This is a bottomless pit, its only constraint being source. It hasn't been used as often as I expected, so I might have to make it more brutal for future versions. I love seeing hostages plummeting down it. I stole the clouds from Mirage and coloured them red, and I'm really happy with the result. Makes it look more like a place, but doesn't make any more sense. I also opened the skybox so you could get a better look at the map as a spectator. It was a bit too enclosed before. I also shifted the map up as far as it could go to make the drops bigger, and these things broke the map in several ways which I later fixed. For example, opening the skybox is cool but I forgot to clip it off again so people started escaping over the sides and shifting the whole map up to make space for bottomless pits ended up breaking the radar tool, so I've got to render another version of the map at its original height to get that back again. That's three renders per map. In its latest version, I've extended the Pit of Despair and have made windows smash and shatter, so people will have the best of both worlds. Join the servers if you haven't done so already. I've got a European one and an American one, up to 20 people at one time, and if there are fewer, don't worry, the bots will do their best. And if you think this style of map has potential, make your own and submit it on my subreddit post, linked to in this video's description. There you'll also find an editable version of this map's VMF file, should you need some help, or something to base your map on. If custom maps are submitted, then I might even host them on all the servers for people to play on. Have fun!